Hey guys, it's Nella here, and today I'm back with another episode of Girls vs. Food featuring Molly Schuyler. And this time we're going to be eating a big English breakfast. Now this thing is absolutely huge. It's got baked beans, it's got grilled tomatoes, it's got grilled mushrooms, it's got six fried eggs, six poached eggs, I think about eight scrambled eggs, it's got hash browns, it's got bacon, and it's got toast. And I'm so excited, so let's go. This tastes really good. Oh man, that's so good. Next I'm going to try a poached egg. Let's see if it's runny. No, it's a little bit overdone, but not too bad. So good. Right. Now I don't like baked beans, but you guys complained last time I did an English breakfast and I didn't put baked beans on it. So this time I'm gonna eat them and just face my fears. Still don't like it very much, they're very sweet. Not terrible, but definitely not something I'd choose to eat. Okay, to a Friday. This one's gonna be ready. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. So good. So runny. Okay. Amazing. Now I actually tried to get black pudding too, but um, here on that stuff. Um, they didn't have it at the shop, which is really annoying because basically all of our shops are out of a lot of shit. So <laughs> yeah, they didn't have black pudding sadly, but I was actually lucky to get bread because most places have sold out of bread. But yeah.
As you can see, the restaurant's pretty quiet, and it's actually because we're closed right now. New Zealand's being uh, moved up to stage four alert, which means that we can't keep any non-essential places open. So luckily my chefs came in today and made this move, which is really nice of them. But yeah, we're going to be close to the next four weeks, I think, probably longer. Which isn't ideal, but I mean, we have to stop the virus from spreading, so... I don't have to be done. Right now toast, I might use hash browns as like pseudo toast. give you guys a little bit of an update what's happening with me as well. Uh, my placement is currently cancelled, like in medical school, so while we can't go into the hospital, we're still doing like our work from home because essentially they can't have like a year where no one graduates in the house officer, so we're still going to get through our year, but I think they just have to figure out ways that we can meet the requirements from home right now. Um, yeah, so last week was my last week in hospital. I'm currently on orthopedics. So that's like surgery and um, like an outpatient clinic as well. So yeah, so that's gonna be interesting. I don't really know what's happening with that. Um, I'm gonna keep some. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep filming videos, obviously, because I can do them from home and I can also come in here didn't hear as long as it's just me and not like a bunch of people but yeah one of my classmates just walked past that was really weird um, but yeah um yeah won't deprive you guys of videos I'll keep filming as long as I can get to the supermarket
you guys are interested about what New Zealand is doing for coronavirus right now, I'll give you guys a bit of an update, just in case you're interested. If not, just mute the mute the video. But um, yeah, so our government's really good. Uh, we've had no deaths yet. We've had, I think, as of now, we've had 106 cases. Uh, it'll probably go up by the time I post this though. Um, we're currently on stage three alert, which means basically don't go out unless you have to. Things can stay open, but there's like restrictions on um, how many people can be in a certain area. But tomorrow it's going up to stage four, so that means <coughs> only um, someone just tried to come in. It was really weird, like a customer. The doors are locked, that's okay. Um, yeah, so only supermarkets, pharmacies, um, hospitals and just like anything necessary. I think banks also stay open. Um, only one person can leave a household each day for like necessities, so food market. <clears throat> so if I was to come back here and film a video, it'd have to be after the supermarket. <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably do some from home to be honest, so it might be easier. Yeah, our government's also um, giving a subsidy to workers, so basically people who have full-time jobs and even I think even part-time people get it like a subsidy, so hopefully no one's going to suffer too much because of this. Um, I was really worried a lot about a lot of my staff because essentially our business like isn't no one's coming in, so if no one comes in you can't pay people. Yeah, we're lucky we live in New Zealand and we've got such an amazing government. Because even though we have to shut, hopefully things will still be okay. Yeah. There's still a chance we could go out of business, but hopefully we can sort it out. Mushroom is going to be my new bread. Should have made more toast. Oh, this is good. I was chatting to Molly uh, the other day and Wednesday, but um, yeah, America's not handling it very good. She's lost her job. I don't have any income right now, which really sucks. Yeah, I just feel really bad for people who are overseas and especially when the government aren't helping people. You think during this time they do everything that they could? help people who need it, but yeah, that's America for you. And I actually am an American citizen, but I've never lived there. I'm also a New Zealand citizen. I just got dual citizenship because my mom's American, but yeah. I used to want to live there, but I don't think I'd want to live there now. Not with Trump anyway, and not with how they handle stuff.
thank you so much. I actually had a bunch of really cool videos planned. I was going to do like this big waffle set at um, Happy Boy. Um, and also like a big Mexican feast at Mad Mix, but I, I thought it would be best to cancel them just because I don't really want to risk going somewhere I don't need to go. Not for myself, but my mum's 63, so if she was to get sick, she's quite rushed, so yeah. Um, I'm going to postpone them, eventually do it, but just not any time soon. <laughs> Alright, so that was a big English breakfast, eaten in 17 minutes and 46 seconds. Now I obviously wasn't going for speed, uh, I just wanted to enjoy it and give you guys a little bit of an update on what's been going on. But yeah, remember, stay inside, don't go outside unless you absolutely need to for like groceries or other important stuff. Um, you know, maybe not for yourself, but for your friends or relatives who might be older or immunocompromised because they're the people at risk. It might just be like a bad flu for you, but it could be death for them, so it's pretty important. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys next time.